That will be so. Are, are certain are certain vehicles all designated to enter at specific locations? It's it's anticipated that tour buses will enter at this area. However, there's no restriction against them entering in any other areas. So if necessary, we'll divert them to other entry points around the site. Uh, buses, cars, vehicles. Where we're going to ensure that the entire site is appropriately covered with personnel to address any traffic issues that arise. There will also be a robust communications platform, so if we do have traffic issues at any one location, and vehicles do need to be diverted, vehicles that don't necessarily need to enter at that point, we'll ensure that that happens as quickly as possible. So yes, we'll ensure that the entire site is covered appropriately, and as traffic issues arise, we'll address them as necessary. From the south side, from yes, the north to the south. TAP is a program that will incorporate both vehicles and people. So presumably um, you'll be involved in TAP and you'll live within the campus. Right. You officers, if you're returning to your home, returning to the campus. I'll have something. Are they we'll be able to come down West Street, going south, and turn onto Liberty Street in the camp? Camps will go through as well. Presumably, yes. Now, we don't want to inundate the campus. Right. with yellow tails, okay, because we're of course not only cognizant of traffic issues on the exterior, but within the campus as well, all right, so traffic within the campus will be restricted, but people who have business within the campus will be permitted in, and those people enrolled in TAP will be permitted. It's cut off a little bit, is uh, different construction phases that we're, that we're in. Um, as most of you know, on Tr Trinity and uh, Trinity and Church is a major construction undergoing to put these booths in place. Um, let's see what this is we have on the time frame. Washington Street underground work was completed uh, from October to December 2013. That was uh, the New York City Department of Design and Construction. <coughs> Excuse me. Stage two, which occurred from uh, January 2014 to August, is still undergoing now. Is West Broadway to continue to work, and they're working on Trinity. Stage three will be Washington construction resumes at Church Street. And we expect this entire security area to take place uh, com completely implemented in April 2015. Obviously, subject to change, weather conditions, flooding, things of that nature. Down here, these are all credential incentives. There's going to be four vehicle access points Barclay Street in Washington, Barclay and West Broadway, Liberty and Church, and Liberty and West. So here's uh, Liberty and Church. We think this will be a main one. And Liberty and West. Liberty and West is going to be for. We'll see the delivery, the delivery vehicles are going to be entering the vehicle screening center here, this location. They'll be credentialed here, coming up, and credentialed here. If they're heading north, this is heading south. If they uh, ask what they have business on the, at the World Trade Center, they want the rest to come in, they'll be let in into the vehicle screening center. If there's a rejection at the vehicle screening center, they'll be put back out onto uh, West, uh, to West Side Highway. If not, they'll be allowed into the screening center, and here they'll have access to all different areas of the World Trade Center. Um, seven control vehicle exits that we have here, uh, Church and Bessie, over here, Church and Liberty at the emergency exit, uh, West and Bessie down here, uh, West and Liberty, Sierra and Washington, down right here, this area. April 2014 into May, uh, there's going to be uh, removal and changing of the uh, fencing all around the site. And this is the anticipation of the museum opening up. The museum uh, is opening up. They're going to have an official ribbon cutting ceremony on May 15th. Uh, the President of the United States is expected to attend, but it hasn't confirmed yet. Um, and alongside, co coincides with this opening on May 15th, a lot of the fencing in the area is going to be let down. So a lot of what you see on Liberty, that's uh, the pool area and the plaza, uh, is going to be open. So the plaza area is going to be open to going into the vehicle security center, there will be trucks making deliveries, and they'll be scheduled. The Port Authority is working on a scheduling program and a software program that will ensure that we'll have an orderly flow of traffic into the vehicle security center. Any truck that isn't scheduled will be sent away. So we're doing our best to make sure to sort of maximize the throughput, so to speak, coming into this area. So anyone who's not scheduled will not be allowed to queue in this area, they'll be sent away from the site. Only vehicles that are already scheduled for the Port Authority software program will be permitted to come in, and that information will be available to the credentialing officer in this area, or officers. Another thing to keep in mind is no screening is taking place for any vehicles coming in this particular entrance at Liberty and West. That screening is taking place below grade within the VSC. So 
So the only process taking place here is a production <coughs> process. Any vehicle, assuming, and you don't like the event that a vehicle that shouldn't have been granted access is able to make it onto Liberty Street, there'll be a reject lane here so that that vehicle can exit out onto Cedar or even move from the site. So we're looking, in addition to ensuring that we have the necessary level of security, we are cognizant of maximizing throughput and avoiding vehicle backlogs. So the other blue line just south of Liberty, yeah. I-49, yeah. is that also a credentialing? This was anticipated to be a credentialing zone, but we're looking to have all of the vehicles making deliveries come southbound on uh, 9A. You mean that's a reject? That's a reject? No, 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 no. The reject is here. Ah. So any vehicle that shouldn't be in this queuing area, and we'll have enough personnel, both traffic personnel and NYPD law enforcement personnel, to ensure that vehicles can be safely uh, added back onto southbound 9A. In this area, vehicles that are queuing will be credentialed. We'll work probably in conjunction with the traffic signal, of course. We'll bring those vehicles into this area so that they can access the BSC. Any vehicle that makes it past credentialing and onto this area that shouldn't have, because of the vagaries of traffic flow, perhaps they didn't get credentials uh, here in this area, they'll be sent out onto Cedar Street, back onto 9A. So a bus would be a credentialed vehicle? Yes, well all vehicles will be credentialed prior to entering the site. There will be no vehicles that won't be credentialed prior to entering the site. The anticipation is, and I think probably the concern for many people in this room, is that most buses would enter northbound on Trinity Place, coming down Liberty Street, and they would enter the VSC moving from east to west. Well, Liberty is the Blue Street. Yes. So okay. they'll come up and they'll enter on Liberty and they'll do what? They'll come up, they'll enter on Liberty, and they'll proceed westbound and enter the VSC. <coughs> Are you anticipating a row of buses being hydrated? A row of buses? Lining up on Liberty under our windows with fumes and noise. No, absolutely not. That's been one of our concerns for some time now. First, only buses with parking privileges to park below grade will be allowed within the campus. So we're not simply going to allow any bus that's dropping off uh, for visitors to Memorial Plaza into the campus. I have another question before you complete that. So what about all of us who live there that have to make a, we're going north on church, we have to make a left onto Liberty and then another left onto Greenwich to get to our home. How are we going to, are we going to be, are we going to run into traffic of buses and cars waiting to be credentialized to go into the security? Well, there is the potential for some queuing to take place in these areas, in the, queue, in the uh, credentialing zones, of course. But we're doing our best and we're anticipating that that queuing will not be significant and you will not be severely delayed in attempting to access your homes. And another thing to keep in mind is while we have a conceptual plan for which vehicles will be entering in which locations, there will always be an opportunity to divert vehicular traffic, not necessarily those of you trying to access your homes. Or also so deliveries that we get are getting to our homes. Of course. No problem with them getting to our house. No, not at all. Of course, we'll make accommodation. I, look, that's something to keep in mind is from a practical standpoint, and we will do our best to ensure appropriate security and the maximum level of throughput. But the police department conducts checkpoints throughout the city on a regular basis. And I think at some point, you know, throughout this process, there will be a common sense standard applied. No one is sending a delivery that's coming here onto Liberty Street to a different location within the campus or prohibiting that vehicle from entering this area. Okay? There may need to be some scheduling that takes place. There may need to be some advance notice. There will be credentialing and screening in this area to ensure that the appropriate levels of security are there. But practically speaking, the police officers that will be working these checkpoints will be more than capable of making the appropriate decision to allow people access to their homes and deliveries. Just and one last thing. Well, not necessarily last, but last for <laughs> uh, A lot of the officers who work down there don't realize that people live there. And especially the people who live at 114 Liberty. Yeah, there's going to be a delineation between the yeah. westernmost lane on Church Street as you proceed north. Once you pass the credentialing zone and the screening zone, obviously, we're going to require a hard line of bollards so that a vehicle, a potential threat vehicle, wouldn't be able to circumvent the barriers and pull into the campus. So that hard line will begin where the screening zone is, exactly as the picture is there. Proceeding northward up Church Street, the westernmost lane will be within the campus. And that was the other depiction that you see there, where you have the line of planters moving northward on the, other side, the western. On the east side. So, I'm sorry, is this also actually going to be a planters there?